Vandalism is costing you, the taxpayer, thousands of dollars. Hello, I'm your host, Ricky Saias. We're here in central El Paso at Logan Park. Behind me is the women's restroom. It was set on fire by vandals. I'm gonna show you some of the damages. As you can see, walls covered in soot, the toilet destroyed. The light above melted. It's so bad that it has to be closed to the public and it's costing the city more than $10,000 to fix. And this is just one example. City leaders say vandalism has increased in the last year. What this does is it actually vandalism uh, affects the access people have to amenities in our park system, in their neighborhoods. Officials say they're seeing about 12 to 15 vandalism cases a month. From graffiti to damaged playgrounds to destroyed signs and posts, it's happening all across the city, in particular at parks, and it costs taxpayers thousands of dollars. It is a huge drag on our resources. Staff is called out oftentimes to take care of items that are non-routine when they could be handling things that make our parks great places to visit. Coming to take care of those issues and oftentimes having to come back and repeatedly take care of these issues is a huge cost. You can help stop vandalism if you see it in progress, call police. If you see it in your neighborhood, report it by calling 311 or Crime Stoppers at the number at the bottom of your screen. The city is hosting several public meetings to inform residents about three propositions that will be on the November 8th ballot. The propositions are part of the 2022 Community Progress Projects. That is a $272 million bond package. The bond will be used to make city improvements to streets, parks, and climate action. The propositions came about after an intense public engagement initiative to identify the needs of the community. Community meetings to go over the propositions start in September in different parts of town. Visit the website on your screen for a exact dates and times. Well, you can protect yourself and your loved ones this fall by getting a flu shot. The Department of Public Health and the El Paso Fire Department are offering free shots starting this month. The shots are available for people six months and older at all of the city's community clinics. No appointment or insurance is required. The city is collaborating with other organizations to provide pop-up events for you to get your shot. It's all part of the Be Power Flu campaign to get people vaccinated. Work is underway for a new mural on Geronimo between Edgemere and Montana near Bassett Place. Local artist Mitsu Overstreet, along with a team of local artists, are painting the mural that will focus on the diversity and natural environment of El Paso. It will take a few weeks to finish. In the meantime, drivers can expect a few lane closures at Geronimo. The project is part of the city's public art program. You can now ride the bus to the new William Beaumont Army Medical Center. The special service runs from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. This is one of our um, new routes, and so now with this route to the hospital, we'll be able to accommodate the riders who need to get out there for medical appointments. The Lyft Paratransit Service also provides rides to the new hospital. And when it comes to the Lyft service, Sun Metro is going green by modernizing its fleet. The Federal Transit Administration gave Sun Metro an $8.8 .8 million grant that will be used to purchase 50 zero emission paratransit vehicles, install 25 electric charging stations, and hire and train employees. Sun Metro competed with more than 500 transit agencies nationwide to receive the grants. In other Sun Metro news, the streetcar service has been extended. It now runs from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. Wednesday through Saturday. It's active on Sundays too from noon to 6. I know downtown is really starting to have a lot more events more frequently and not just on the weekends. And also it's just really good because of the new hotels that have popped up along the streetcar route. You can plan ahead and track the streetcar by downloading the Rides on Metro app. It's free on Android and iPhone. And look out for some entertainment on that streetcar. There's a bunch of events coming up from Read and Ride for Kids by the folks at the library to mariachis and band performances and architecture and history tours. Visit the streetcar on Instagram and Facebook to find events. That's my cue that we're out of time, but before we go, a quick reminder that all city administrative offices will be closed on Labor Day. You can find the complete list by visiting ElPasoTexas.gov. For Jose Solis, who's behind the camera, I'm Ricky Saez. Stay safe and please be good to each other. We'll see you next time on Your City in 5.